chef go goo goo gaga at 2 a.m. dessert bar. Stay tuned to find out. Welcome back to Sugar Rush on Rage. Now the Araguani H20 is a very special dessert for Chef and owner Janice Wong. Uh, please tell us what the story sure. behind this. Okay, well, we sent this dessert in for a competition and um, held in Spain, in Madrid. And it's in uh, 2010, January 28. And, um, well, this dessert is special because um, we are using chocolate and water, just pure chocolate water, just to make this dessert. So there's no cream, no milk in this, and it's a technique that is um, actually not very well known, you know, to just use pure chocolate water. So the inspiration from this actually came from eating chocolates. You know, sometimes, once in a while, you have a craving for a chocolate bar, and so instead of eating, like, you know, a whole chocolate bar to fulfill your craving and then feeling, like, so grossed out after that, um, I thought, why not make something aerated, like, light, but yet have the fulfillment of eating chocolate? What Janice didn't mention is that she is the one and only representative from Asia entering the International Plated Dessert Competition next year, which is quite an achievement for the young chef. Mm, so are you nervous about presenting Very her? Very nervous. Her yeah, I mean, not only is Ferran Adra there, his brother Albert Adra, who's the uh, pastry chef of El Bulli, who comes up with like incredible um, desserts, you know, and very beautiful as well, and he's an inspiration. And um, Oreo Balagay, who is also a very famous uh, pastry chef in Spain, they'll all be there. So, I mean, I am, of course, in a lot of pressure and stress, but uh, this is all good. I would say, yeah, I mean, I love dark chocolate. It's like, <laughs> you know, an orgasm, right? <laughs> yeah. This was inspired by, of course, dark chocolate as well as the Snickers bar, omitting the nuts. And now let's sink our teeth into the Aragoani H20, which is the closest thing to what Janice will be preparing for the Madrid Fusion. She says it's not exactly the same recipe, but it tastes just as good. Mmm. This is very, very good. Mm -hmm. This is simple. Now it's so good that even our cameraman couldn't resist a bite. This is heaven. It's like moussey with some hard, crispy bits because of the caramel. So Steph, our dessert critic for today, what do you think of the Araguani H20? I thought it was a dish that it's extremely deceiving because when you when it arrives, it's like a block of chocolate, and you don't really know what to expect, you know. And I mean, they give you a knife so you can cut it open, and you're thinking it's supposed to be like a mousse thing, but you don't actually need a knife. You, when you cut it open, it's creamy and it's light and it's kind of watery, but it's you know it complements it so well. So. I, I loved it. I couldn't stop eating it. I love the fact that you could smell the chocolate, you yeah. know, so you know exactly what you're getting. Chocolate. Yes, exactly. Valona chocolate. She said that she was inspired by a Snickers bar, and it did remind me of a Snickers bar without the nuts. Bitch. It's like an Athat version of a Snickers bar, yeah? yeah? basically. <laughs> they gave us the, the yuzu, was it the yuzu sorbet? Yeah, that's right. And it complimented very well, but you kind of got distracted by all the chocolate because it was so delicious. Yeah. You'd be like... I like to have the uh, sorbet right after the chocolate yes. so that the aftertaste is great. It is, yes. You know, it's, it's not too like, strong no. and uh, bitter. It's got a very tangy aftertaste. So you, so you still have the uh, chocolate and you still have that chocolate lingering on your palate. Yes. But uh, it takes away the uh, bitterness of it. Yes, it does, definitely. Yeah. So this is for very, very chocolate lovers. Must try. Yes, must try. <laughs>